Welcome to the Fishbowl Radio, right everybody. My name is Chief here, and I was wondering if y'all could hear me or not here. I'm doing this off of my Android tablet here that I have. This is a very, I think, useful way for us to actually have a good, um, I hope this is a good episode. I mean, I don't know how well the quality is going to be, so y'all uh, give me some feedback. We're doing this on air here, and this has been a very, I guess, not great internet day at all for anybody, <laughs> but uh, well, especially for us because we this is my second episode doing this here, and the first one we got 22 minutes done. It was me and Juicy, but Juicy had to go do some other stuff around his house, so we don't have him available. Mike's at work, so I can't do him either. So guess what? Y'all get to listen to my wonderful voice for the next 30 minutes. Hope y'all were having a great, wonderful day out there, no matter where you are, where you're listening to us from. You can like us on Facebook, The Fishbowl Radio, and you can um, stream us there because we have our episode up in there. You can follow me on Twitter, at Logan Fuselaire, if you want to know how my life's going or whatever. So you get to decide what you want to do. It's a uh, very fun. I, I like to have a lot of fun here. So Tomorrow will be a very fun day. I'm going to be going to UL Lafayette spring game at 2 o'clock, but I'll be leaving there at, in like about 30, 35 minutes. I'm going to head my way over to walk-ons where they're having the Kevin Falk celebrity rock, paper, scissors tournament where I'll be uh, there helping out celebrities and all that stuff like that. So go and volunteer and put in some time to give back to the community because they give back so much to us. And it's always a great time to give back to the community. It's always good to donate your time. It's not all about the money in life. You go out there and do what you got to do. To help and support people who need it the most and who really enjoy your company. So, we have a couple of things going on here. It's uh, We have a very interesting week of baseball here. LSU is taking on Vanderbilt um, this evening. They are, they've are they already played a game Thursday night. LSU did end up winning that game 16 to that wait what was it 16 uh let's see they don't show on this one i think it was like a 13 3 or whatever it whatever it was lsu won last night i'm not gonna sit here and ponder what exactly happened last night because i mean um we've been having a hard episode here and wonder what's going on so it's always fun we've been trying to do this episode for the last couple of minutes so I mean, this one looks like it's doing well. I think my computer's having a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to go look on that and check what's going on over there. But anyway, you all laugh yet. We're going to cover their game first. I'm going to cover LSU and Vanderbilt's game. Uh, LSU, I mean, uh, you all laugh yet. It's going to be pitching Gunnar Leje tonight, and which will be the first series matchup between Georgia Southern and the UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns. It will be a very uh, – they're going to be playing in – I mean, uh, State's – <laughs> Statesboro, Georgia, and the UL Lafayette Rage Cage, they ranked number 27 coming into this game. The first pitch of the series will open at 6 o'clock here at Central Central Time, but over there, I don't know where they're going to be at. I think they might be at 5 or something like that. Um, let's see what what's going on here later on. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, um, Okay. now that we got some other stuff going on here, uh, the Cajuns and UL Lafayette, I mean, well, Cajuns and Georgia Southern, I'm messing up a lot, guys, I'm sorry about that, because uh, we've had two episodes go down, and we've already spit everything we could think about now out, so, sophomore left-hander Gunnar Leje, he's 3-2, 2.79 ERA, he will make the start on tonight. And then Saturday, I mean, yeah, Saturday, which is tomorrow, uh, Wyatt Marks will pitch for the Raging Cajuns. He has a 4.17. I mean, Gunner's kind of gotten better as the season progressed. I mean, his ERA's definitely been going down, so that's been pretty good for him. Evan Gilbert had a very solid outing Tuesday because he just came, and it was just there. He was pitching very well. So, um, I mean, he did what he needed to do, Evan Gilbert, last that. Tuesday night because he only allowed one hit against Northwestern State 
University. The Cajuns did pick up a 4 nothing win. And they were able to win, like, the last four games. So it will be pretty fun. Okay. Uh, so we'll see what all happens there and everything. So it'll be very fun to see what is going on. So it, it should be a very fun time. Uh, let's see. We're going to make this quick here. Juicy picked um, LSU to win, to pull off the upset against Vanderbilt. Uh, they've been a very good team so far this year, Vanderbilt and everything else. So LSU will win two out of three games coming against Vanderbilt here. That's what Juicy predicts. And Juicy also predicts that UL Lafayette will win the series against Georgia Southern um, two out of three as well. I think here's what – I think it's going to happen. The Cajuns have been very good here. They won their last four games, and they've been able to keep going on, building a lot of momentum off of their wins here. Ever since the LSU game, it seemed like the Cajun, whenever they adjusted their offense around, I mean their defensive, they've did so much shuffling around ever since the LSU game, and it's been able to make a very good impression on all these games. So I think you all shuffling around their defense really helped them out a good bit, and it's been a very effective change all the props give the Tony Robo show and the players. They've done a very good job so far this year, and it would not let the pressure get to them. So it's been a very fun time. Okay, now I'm going to think what's going to happen. I think uh, UL will win the, this game tonight against Georgia Southern. I think they will be able to pull it off and have a very successful game against Georgia Southern Eagles. They've uh, – the, the series – wait, hmm? That's very interesting. I thought this was the first. Uh, that's uh, this headline's messed up. Then what I just read. First ever series in Statesboro. Oh, in Statesboro. Okay, last year the Georgia Southern did play against. I apologize for that misinformation there. Uh, Georgia Southern. This is their second time playing the Cajuns. Uh, Georgia Southern won last year two out of three against the Cajuns, but I think you all will come back and they will knock out Georgia Southern. I think they'll take two out of three. In their place, it might be one of those. Oh, home crowd doesn't get the advantage. Their road team does. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the Cajun ranked 26 in the nation. ERA boasting got 3.06 ERA as a staff. So that's been pretty good pitching for the Raging Cajun so far. So yeah, I think you will win two out of three. And I think they'll go on and roll on to their next series and get a very good key win against Georgia Southern Eagles. Now, the second game, I mean, the second series we want to talk about is LSU and Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's ranked number two in the country. LSU is ranked number 14, according to this note I'm looking at. Uh, Jared Poche did pretty good last night. He pitched very well. LSU's bats came to life. They were able to hit the ball all over the field and do a very well do a very good job of doing what they need to do here. LSU need to get the bats going because I mean they're able to get a good three game win streak going on. Now they're on four games cuz they did beat Vanderbilt last night. But Kyle Wright of Vanderbilt, the sophomore right-handed pitcher, he's been a very effective pitcher for Vandy so far this year. It will be very tough for LSU to get hit the ball like they did last night against Jordan Sheffield, who's allowed to a 2.27 ERA. And he's pitched 43.2 innings. For, uh, and he has 60 strikeouts, but Kyle Wright's been pretty good. Alex Lang, he's been kind of struggling a little bit with a 5.02 ERA. He has a very high ERA so far, so it will be uh, it'll be tough. It'll be tough for him to get, uh, get that down. But, you know, Alex Lang, he might be in a little slump right now. But, you know, he might be able to pull out of it, I believe. I think he'll get the job done. Done. I think you limit Vanderbilt, but I don't see enough for LSU to be able to overcome Vanderbilt tonight. I'm picking the Commodores of Vandy to pull off the win. So that brings us to Saturday's matchup. John Valak the third will take on Hayden Stone in a pitching matchup. John Valak the third, he's a senior. And you know, a lot of people didn't really hear about him. And he kind of came out and surprised everybody. So, you know, he's a senior. He's been pretty good at this, and we'll see what will happen here. I think LSU will pull the upset against Vanderbilt in the series, and I think they went two out of three. I'll agree with Juicy on both my picks. So I got uh, UL and LSU winning both their series this week, 
and that will just about wrap it up for me in 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, we usually do a show for 30 minutes, but we're not going to do that today because I've done, I've been talking on this thing, and I don't know how long it's going to last without it shutting off on me or anything like that. So I want to get the most important information to Fishbowl Nation and have that done. So I'm apologizing. I'm going to end this shortly because I know we've been having some technical issues today. So we're going to close it out. Um, I'm going to try to go 15 minutes if I can. If not, then that will be it. Or, well, let me just close it out here. Okay. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in here today. It's been a very wonderful, I hope you have a very wonderful day, a very wonderful weekend because it's been, it's beautiful out here today. UL and LSU we playing tonight. I'm going to be going to the spring game tomorrow for like 30 minutes. Y'all can come meet me over there and you can follow me to walk on to play like celebrity. You can play a celebrity for 10 minutes for $10 only. Uh, I mean, you can rock, rock, paper, scissors them. So it's going to be fun. Um, That'll be all. Um, like us on Facebook, The Fishbowl Radio. And you can follow me on Twitter at Logan Fusilera. Um, you can follow The Fishbowl Radio on Twitter at Fishbowl Nation. You can follow Mike and stuff, too. They all follow me and stuff. So, And I follow them back, of course, because we're all good buddies here and stuff like that. And the reason why we didn't uh, broadcast the last two weeks, we've been having a lot of stuff going on. And, uh, one, and it's been kind of a, a very interesting time. We're all getting ready for summer and kind of getting stuff ready to go. I've actually got a internship, so I'm going to be very busy the next couple of weeks. So I don't know if I better put off any more shows or not. So it's going to be tough. All right. So I'd like to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. You'll have a great and wonderful day. And we hope I hope I talk to you all next uh, Thursday, hopefully, or Friday. Don't know when I'm going to do it because I'm doing those internships. Um, I'd like to thank everybody from Fishbowl Nation for tuning in. So you have a great, wonderful weekend. And I'll see y'all soon.